Why are rapeseed flowers blooming at the entrance to the cliff cave? Local villagers rumored that this cave was the residence of bandits a hundred years ago. Due to the dangerous terrain, the bandits called it the fairy cave. The path leading into the cave has long since collapsed and been damaged. No one has entered this cave in thousands of years. Who planted the rapeseed flowers at the entrance of the cave? Could it be that there are descendants of bandits living in this cave? Today we use nail climbing technology to open a line to enter this cave. Actual photos of ancient ruins in caves. As you can see, we have now come to this. The side of this cliff in Shenzian Cave. Now Shanli Tiaotiao is clearing the way ahead. I'm going to lay out some crosscuts from here. We are going to enter the fairy cave from this direction. Now we are a group of four. This is Outdoor Arshi. And this beautiful team member. Alright. The next journey will be very smooth. Start. Let's take a look at the side of this rock wall. There are a lot of this epimedium. Does anyone know what epimedium is used for? It's not convenient for me to say it here. Let me show you a close-up view. I also found a lot of this here. Shawei. Has anyone seen this Shawei? This is very rare. Maybe we will encounter many things on this cliff. Rare Chinese herbal medicine. I will explain it to you one by one later. Okay, let's go. Let's move on. You have to be careful here. Everyone must not imitate. Have you ever seen such a big wild grapevine? This is so rough. There is a cliff below this. In the distance is Lujiao town. Let's move on. This is Ophiopagon japonicus. Ophiopagon japonicus is also called Tiendong. It is also a very common Chinese herbal medicine. This is the vine of the August melon. See no it is. This one looks like chicken feet with three prongs. This is August melon. Everyone, look at this Fujiko. The one in the woods. All vines. The vines climb up counterclockwise. Is this how you climb? Didn't you see this kudzu vine here? And here. Here too. They all climb up counterclockwise like this. This has something to do with the magnetic field. I don't know if we're coming over soon to get on the highway. It's a good walk ahead. He said that the road ahead was very easy and we continued to move forward. I also discovered this dry rock formation. Did you see? Let's move on. It is said that this, I used to hide from bandits in the immortal cave. Let's take a look today. Are there any remains inside? This road is quite wide. This feels like this bandit. The only way into the mountain. Because we took a look at it with a drone. No other place can. It leads to this fairy cave. There is this pulp colored stone on the right side of the road. This pulp colored stone illustrates. Was here once. He must have helped a lot of people. See there are no hands here. This stone is covered in slurry. It seems we are on the right path now. I'm protected now. Show it to everyone. Found one here. This very rare Chinese herbal medicine. This Wulingji. That's it. Rat droppings. Let's look at this again. This is Lujiao town. Beautiful. Let's move on. You can reach this fairy cave soon. We have arrived at the first natural hazard. This is the way to enter this fairy cave. The only thing, a natural danger. It was said that bandits escaped here before. Later, the bandits access channel was cut off. Blow this place up. You can see that there is a cliff below. Now the pioneers are well protected. Everyone must not imitate. Lay a cross cutting line from here. Let's climb up from here. Can be seen. In that position is our path forward. Let's wait for the line to open. Pioneer Mountain will jump to a good line. Let's follow the rope again. Protected. It's very safe to climb up like this. Everyone must not imitate. Already protected. I'm going to cross this point. Up here is the way forward. We are all shooting under the premise of safety. Everyone must not imitate. It's hanging on this cliff. It's very safe. Please don't imitate it. Then jump on it in the mountains. We're clearing the way again. All our teammates came up very safely. I'm finishing here. Let's move on now. The road here is very wide again.
We all took photos wearing protective gear. Everyone must not imitate. Below here is a cliff path. It feels like I have to lie down to leave here. Let me show you the outside. The fairy cave is not far ahead. We'll be at the cave entrance soon. Well, there are rapeseed on this. Did you see? Rapeseed is so rare, this must be that one. The seeds brought in by the bird sprouted here. And there is Wulingji excrement on it as fertilizer. Well, here it comes. Oh my god. This is the entrance to the fairy cave. Now mountain jumping is exploring. What's going on below? There's a shaft down here. There's no way to get down here. Where is the main cave entrance? The main entrance is like a tunnel over there. Like a tomb passage, a tomb passage. There are a lot of rape seeds here. I started to think it was this rape seed. It was brought in by the bird. But I found that when I look at it like this, it doesn't feel like it. Maybe it's just that. Someone planted this here in ancient times. After planting it, it will grow naturally every year. Is this really rapeseed? This is really a small rapeseed. Look at the old varieties of rapeseed. And now it's a long cycle. It has already bare fruit. Have you seen it? Right now. Maybe next year the seeds will fall here. It will be released again next year. It can't grow bigger. It can only grow this small. Is this the corridor? This is the main tunnel. Like a corridor. It looks like a tunnel to you. It is said that you can borrow rice from this fairy cave. How did they do it? Immortal cave, immortal cave. Can you lend me some rice? No response. This terrain is really dangerous. Everyone, look at this. It's a cliff with a negative angle. If this is to be repelled from above. He fell directly to the bottom of the cliff. So this must. Open the line horizontally and cut it across. We are now facing this fairy cave. An internal exploration. There seems to be a stack of stones here. Possible. This is a tomb house. You can see that there is that. There seems to be an earthen wall. Because it doesn't look like a city wall. Because there is no need for a wall here. And there is a corridor here. We continue to go deeper along this corridor. Take a look at what's going on inside. It's cool and breezy. It feels quite mysterious. Let's move on. A lot of leaves have fallen here. This corridor feels like the width is not wide. Maybe about 70 centimeters. This corridor. It's quite mysterious. This was obviously dug manually. Can continue to go deeper. Wow. Here is a crack. Let's keep walking. There is water here. Very very clean. Have you seen the mountain spring water? Above this. This is a blind hole. Take a look. This side is a very narrow crack. Wow. There seems to be a cave inside here. Us. Go up and have a look. Let's see if there are any caves in here. I climbed up from here. There's quite a lot of space in here. But there doesn't seem to be any human traces. Inside. There are no other caves. There are stalactites here. Wow. This is a stalactite cavity. There is no other way. Let's go back the way we came and see if there's any other passage. Take a look at this. I said this back then. Where did this story about borrowing rice happen? I feel, it's a bit aggrieved for this god to live here. This doesn't look like a place where gods lived. The stalactites here are very beautiful. It's still in a very, very primitive state. Look, there are fossils on this. Do you see it? That one looks like... The one that looks like a spiral tube. That's a fossil. 
This is a cliff fossil cave. Wow. It's really exquisite with seven orifices. Very beautiful. Well proportioned. I quit from here. Another plain scene was discovered here. Take a look. There is no tunnel under this shaft. Just a blind hole. There is no need to explore further. No cave found. It's a vertical shaft. About 20 meters deep. Have you seen any signs of being knocked here? There's no tunnel on this one either. It's connected to that side. Then there's not much need. This shaft. There's no need to go down. Just now I was jumping in the mountains and throwing stones there. He also fell into this shaft. Let's go take a look at the cave over there. Oh. It's connected to here. In other words, this cave has basically been discovered. The first floor has been discovered. Went to the upper floor. Let's go up there and take a look. I'm planning to go up to the mountains from here to jump. I've already gone up. What wow. There are so many fossils up there. Fossils found. Is it in here? Yeah, look at it. Like a shell, but not like it. This one is also a fossil. Take a look. Right. What a beautiful fossil. Very beautiful. Then there is also a similar one here. This little bug seems to be. This is a shell fossil. Wow. Then let's see there are three here. This is a coral fossil. Coral fossil. Take a look. Yep. Here is a mollusk fossil. Yes, yes. There are coral fossils on top again. Can't you see the top? Wow above. Many Confucius ones. Wow. Beautiful. There are a lot of little bugs here. And have you seen this place? This is another coral fossil. Where? This good looking. Yep. This is a coral fossil. This makes me fully judge. This place used to be an ocean. It has now become a cliff several hundred meters high. Look, do you see any coral up here? This is the stone. It may also mean that this used to be an ocean. Oh. Beautiful. The movement of the Earth's crust causes the whole body to rise upward. Did you see? Damn, this is complete. Top like a ball. Did you see the hollow one? This is very beautiful. Very pretty. Really. There is also a radial shape on it. So is this place. Besides. There are really many. Very beautiful. Let's check again to see if there are any large shell fossils. Wow. This has three eyes. One eye, two eyes, three eyes. This is a three eye hole. I climbed up from here. I found a lot of this here. Bird feathers. There are really a lot of bird feathers. There are a lot of bird feathers. This could be an eagle. Made some birdies. Came here to eat. Wow. There is also this dry rock inlay here. This is very, very expensive. Wow. On the edge of this cliff. There are a lot of Wulingji. Did you see? This is the authentic Wulingji. If you have Wulingji, you may have anemia. Take a look around. Beautiful. No fossils were found on this. The concentrated layer of fossils is in the place for mountain jumping and outdoor IT. Above this. Very suitable for meditation. If you meditate here, it should be a very good experience. Refreshed. The scenery is nice, and it's quiet here. 
It's really a very good place to meditate. Alright, let me show you what the scenery is like outside. Wow look! This is the scenery in front of me. Isn't it very beautiful? Inside this fairy cave, although I can no longer borrow rice now, but the scenery here is very beautiful. But I don't recommend that everyone come over to play. If you don't have professional equipment, you still have to come here. More dangerous. Where we stand now. It can be said to be the third floor of this fairy cave. Take a look at it as a whole. There are not many man-made remains inside. I just found some Wulingji. This thousand rock inlays and fossils. There are a lot of fossils found here. This is very rare. Furthermore, this place is particularly suitable for meditating. Is he cultivating immortality? Take a look at the direction of my right hand. Really beautiful. This adventure journey ends here. Okay, thanks everyone for watching. I'm jumping in the mountains. Who are you? I am RC. Ha ha ha. I almost said it. I am an iron-headed ant. I am outdoor Xiao Bei. Follow me to show you more different scenery. Take you to experience more different adventures. Goodbye, see you next time. Unforgettable night. Unforgettable tonight.